Hello everyone and welcome to the first episode of Android Application Development. Today we'll be um, installing the EDT bundle and Java. So let's dive right into it. We're going to go to Safari, Chrome, or Internet Explorer, whichever one you prefer. And you're going to go to developer.android.com. This will be the hub for developer news from Google, um, tools that you'll be needing in the future, and uh, reference guides if you're lost. So you're going to go to develop tools, download, and you're going to click download the SDK. I'm on a Mac, some of you may be on a PC, so that button will change depending on whether or not you're on a Mac or a PC. Um, so while that's installing, you're going to go to, you're going to search Java JDK, Java SE Downloads, Java Platform, and you're going to download whatever version, uh, whatever operating system you're currently running, whether it be Mac, Windows, or Linux, um, you're going to download that, let that install. Um, once everything is downloaded, you're going to install Java, and uh, then you're going to go to your desktop. Uh, for me, on a Mac, I had to go into here, open the EDT bundle Mac, and I dragged the e Eclipse and SDK out of that folder onto my desktop. So we're going to go into Eclipse, uh, open Eclipse. So if you're opening this for the first time, it's going to ask you for a launch of Workspace. Um, where is your Workspace? Um, so workspace, workspace is basically uh, the folder that's holding your applications or your projects. So I already have one selected. Um, just click Browse and make a folder. I just it's, so it's right here. It's just a basic folder, and you can click OK. <clears throat> it may take a little while while for you for this to load up because it's the first time. And this will pop up most likely. Um, I'm going to say no to that. I'm going to click Finish. So this is the welcome screen. You can just ignore that unless you want to read it. Go ahead. Um, I'm going to exit out. And we're in our main interface. We have our package explorer, which will display your applications, your console, which will display what's going on with the app, and your outline. And this will be filled with a bunch of stuff later. So we're going to go to File, New, Android Application Project. Or if you don't if you don't have Android Application Project on there, you're going to go to Android, Android folder, Android Application Project. We're going to click Next. Um, the name of the application, um, we're going to name it um, our app. Um, so this, uh, that's going to be the name of the app. Pretty simple. Project name, the name of the project on uh, our hard drive. We're going to keep it the same. Now our package name. When you click on your phone, when you click um, the icon to open an app on your phone, it's looking for com.example.rapp, and then it's going to launch our Android manifest, which I'll go into the future, uh, go over in the future. But we want to remember this. This is very important. So I'm going to keep this the same, com.example.rapp, and I'm going to make the minimum SDK required Android 2.3.3, and I'm going to be targeting for Jelly Bean. So we're going to click Next, Next, Next again, Next, finish. So it's loading the SDK for the first time. Um, I think it has. I think I. This is my uh, second time launching Eclipse, and I haven't opened up the SDK manager yet. So I'm pretty sure this is Jelly Bean. Yep, it is Jelly Bean. Okay. So let's not pay attention to this yet. Let's just pay attention to this. This is the project. This. Um, SRC folder holds all the files, um, Java files. This is our main activity. We'll go into that more in the future. Um, we'll go over these more in the future. Those aren't really important for now. Um, but th these two, the SRC and the res, are the, more, are the most important for our basic application development. So you're going to go into res, drawable HDPI and XHD, through XHDPI. Um, that's where you put in pictures. Um, the HD, HDPI and all the others um, 
stand for the resolutions and the screen sizes depending on um, because you're going to be developing for a wide range of screens now of course um, each screen has a different resolution and a different size so you have to reformat every picture uh, for HDPI, LDPI, MDPI, and XHDPI layout is um, your screens for, I don't know what you call them but so this is a screen. This is just our main screen that's connected to main activity. Is that our main activity in Java? So right now we just have a hello world uh, text field or text view. Text view, sorry. So if you double click hello world, it'll bring us to the activity main XML. We were just in graphical layout. Now we're going into the XML layout. So as you can see, you can see the code behind the text view. Now we won't be touching this yet. Or we'll just be going through it. Um, this, let's go over Android colon. Imagine Android as a folder, okay? So when we, when we type the colon, we want to go into the Android folder, folder and pull something out of it. So we're going into the Android folder, pulling out the layout with properties of the text view, and we're going to say, okay, we want it to, we want the box, we want the size of the text view, the box surrounding the hello world, to be just big enough so it fits every single character. We don't want it to be any bigger um, than, than it has to be. But if you want it to stretch from this screen, if, in the, for this side to this side, you would say fill parent. So I'm just going to type it in now. Fill parent. That, and you, could do, you would do the same for layout height. But I wouldn't be doing that because I don't want the text to be filling up the vertical <laughs> height. So that's pretty much it for text view for now for this episode. We'll be diving into much more later. Um, but that's pretty much it, and that is the basics for downloading ADT Bundle and Java. So in the next episode, we'll be diving more into Java and XML and uh, going into a little more of Android. I showed you a little bit of the XML with the fill parent today, and that could have been confusing, but um, don't worry, we'll go into more of it uh, later. You'll, it'll seem like it's so simple, uh, you wouldn't even understand why it was confusing. So that's it for this episode. Um, I'll catch you guys later in the next episode. See ya.